the word dimension means a measurement of two. So something that divides in two, so you can measure two sides. That's a dimension mm -hmm. in Latin. So what is a dimension? Is a measurement of two points of view. Meaning that every dimension is just a measurement of only one thing that you are just dividing once and again, once and again, once and again to get the understanding of it. Um, so it's basically something that we call science. Science means, uh, the word science means to cut. Yeah. So, um, so you are, the dimensions are cutting stuff so you can get it, so you can understand. So basically the first dimension is the measurement of the one, understanding that everything is only one thing. And there's, a, there's only one reality that you can only measure by the amount of one. It doesn't matter what it is. It, it doesn't have any perspective. It's just one unity. So that same thing also can be seen from two perspectives, which is positive and negative. This positive and negative creates the polarity that manifests two options of the unity called time and space. So through time and space, the unity will be expressed. When time and space collapse to one another, they create the third one, which is the option of experiencing a third different point of that only unity. So it's basically the unity staring at itself and experiencing itself. Um, then you have the fourth dimension, which is the frequency in which that thing is happening, meaning time. So the fourth dimension is basically how many times this is happening, uh, when it's going to be repeated, you know? So uh, basically the fourth dimension is the, the, um, the process of the experiencing um, as, the, as the only one thing starts to spin. That spinning is the fourth dimension. Then the awareness of that spinning is the fifth dimension, where all the data that you are living is recorded. The sixth dimension is, oh, now that I am aware of this, I can transform it into something different. So I can use the awareness of the fifth dimension, the spinning of the fourth dimension, the experience in the third dimension, and the polarity in the second dimension to transform the first dimension. So that's the sixth dimension. And once you get the transformation of that, you, you become enlightened because you understand that you are God. You are transforming your own reality. And that's the seventh dimension. The place where we call where the archangels live, um, which basically they are not beings with wings, is, is actually a, a sounds resounding so, so hard that covers the entire universe. Mm. Um, and is the resonance, the vibration of the understanding of the whole uh, through times and space. Mm. And when that expansion from the seventh dimension gets to uh, converge to itself, creates the eighth dimension, which is eternity. So eternity is that every being is living everything and you can perceive every timeline and every line, every possible reality. Uh, which brings you to the un com complete understanding of every one of the parts, and that's the ninth dimension, which is the divine. So the, ni the ninth dimension is the, I get it, I am. And the ninth dimension takes you to the oneness again, mm. the first dimension. But in this time, because it's a new cycle, we call it the tenth. And the second dimension will be 11. Got it. And yeah. the third dimension will be 12, and mm -hmm. so on. So it's a recreation of itself once and again. But it can be explained in many different ways. Mm. So that's a summarizing. 